Welcome to US Movie Recaps. In today's video, we will be enjoying an adventure action film, entitled Pokemon, Mewtwo Strikes Back, Evolution. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. In the beginning of the movie, some scientists are seen roaming in a jungle. As they are walking, they talk about a mythical Pokemon. The name of the Pokemon is Mew. Mew has phenomenal powers and can cause massive flooding or plant life to bloom in the wild, bestowing some of these powers on humankind. The other researchers ask their senior if that thing is good or evil, or if it is doing this on a whim. The researcher tells them that, no matter what, this Pokemon possesses great power. While they were talking, Mew saw them from outside. They sense her and turn back, but she disappears. They go back to their camp and take Mew's hair with them to extract her DNA. They take it as a victory and decide to take the fossil from Mew back to the laboratory to recreate the most powerful of all Pokemon. In the next scene, we can see that a Pokemon is in a dormant state inside a glass container. He is asking questions about his identity, as in who he is and where he's from. Just then, he opens his eyes and breaks the glass container. The researchers quickly gathered around him and told him that he was a Pokemon. He asks them about his parents and where he's from. The scientists tell him that he is made by human science and humans. They call him Mewtwo and tell him that they have given life to him using the rarest of Pokemon as a basis. Mewtwo finds out that his existence is based on Mew, but he was created to be even stronger. Everyone in the lab feels excited and starts congratulating each other for their successful experiment. They start talking about an even better version and research. Meanwhile, Mewtwo starts growling and, using his powers, he throws everyone away. He asks everyone about his purpose of creation and angrily destroys the entire laboratory as he escapes. In the next scene, a helicopter is seen from which a suited man and his Pokemon are approaching the laboratory. The man reaches out to Mewtwo, who is questioning his powers. The man tells him that indeed Mewtwo is very powerful, but there are other forms of power as well, namely humans. He asks Mewtwo to join him, saying that together they will be unstoppable and the world will belong to them. Mewtwo finds himself fully armored and protected, and the armor holds back his powers. He asks the man what he will have to do, and the man tells him that he needs to do what everyone else is doing in this world, destruction, war, and conquest. He takes Mewtwo to battle with animals and other Pokemon, and Mewtwo defeats them easily. Later, Mewtwo asks himself for what reason he is living and fighting. He questions itself about the purpose of his life and about who he really is. The man tells him that he is a Pokemon, and their purpose is to live for humans and serve them, they have no other value than that. This annoys Mewtwo, and he kills the man as well as his laboratory. Mewtwo breaks free and tells himself that he is not human property and is stronger than them. He feels disgusted by the fact that he was made by humans. He keeps asking questions about his identity and says that he despises everyone who was a part of his creation. He declares neither an attack nor a declaration of war but says that he will strike back against his creators, humans. In the next scene, we can see a young man named Ash from Pallet Town. He is traveling with his two friends on a training journey, aiming to be a Pokemon master. They reach a destination near the sea and plan to have lunch. While one of his friends was cooking lunch, Ash and Misty set the table. Ash tells Misty that he is tired and cannot even move a finger anymore. But then, another guy from the training facility approaches Ash and challenges him to a Pokemon fight. Ash goes on to have a Pokemon fight with the guy. He shows great power and proves that he is fit to be a Pokemon trainer. They are being watched over by Team Rocket, who is their enemy and always tries to ruin their plans. Ash is being observed by Mewtwo through a camera that is present in an eagle-like Pokemon. Mewtwo's assistant tells him about the Ash, Misty, and Brock. He asks his assistant to send Ash and his friends an invitation. She sends them an invitation in which there is a hologram of the assistant. The hologram message opens up and says that they have been invited to a party held by the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. The party is at Pokemon Palace on the new island. They agree to go to the party. Another team, Team Rocket, which is a rival of Ash's team, finds out about this party and plans to go without an invitation. In the next scene, Mewtwo is seen swirling his hand, and because of that, a storm emerges. The storm is directly over New Island and Pokemon Palace. Mew also wakes up from her sleep and flies over to the Pokemon Palace. The thunder rumbles, and as Ash and his friends with their Pokemon reach the training center, they find out that no ferry boats are going to the New Island because of the storm. A lot of people had gotten the invitation, but the harbor manager says that she grew up near the harbor and had never seen such a storm. She tells them that since their Pokemon nurse, Joy, has been missing, they cannot take any responsibility for the damage that the storm can cause. The storm is directly over New Island. Three of the members from the training center use their Pokemon anyway to reach New Island. As Ash and his friends try to go there, a boat approaches. 
They meet two captains rowing a boat. The captains invite Ash and his friends to come with them. After they reach the middle of the ocean, they find out that the captains were none other than the rocket team. The rocket team then escapes the boat, leaving Ash and his friends to die. Ash and his friends fall into the sea but use their Pokemon to reach the palace. Upon reaching the palace, they are welcomed by the assistant of the Pokemon trainer. As she takes them inside the palace after seeing their invitation cards Brock notices something. He notices that the assistant looks familiar to Nurse Joy. Brock tells his friends that the assistant looks familiar to Nurse Joy, but the assistant denies any of Brock's words and says she has no idea of what he is talking about. Team Rocket also reaches the palace. Since they were not invited to the party, they start looking for ways to enter. While they are contemplating about how to enter the palace, they sense someone at the back and turn around. It was Mew who had disappeared as they turned around. The team then enters through a sewage pipe. Their Pokemon Mewoth senses someone else with them, Mew, however, hides herself well and travels with them through the tunnels. They reach a room where a lot of Pokemon clones are kept in glass containers. After going inside, they see the other three members from the training center who had been invited to the palace. The other members introduce them to their Pokemon. After that, Mewtwo arrives. Mewtwo breaks his telepathic connection with his assistant and breaks her free of his compulsion. She opens her eyes and realizes she is at a place she doesn't recognize. Mewtwo tells her that he had picked her up from the training center as she knows all about the physiology of Pokemons. Nurse Joy does not remember any of it as she was in a compulsion. Brock feels happy that he was right about her. She actually is Nurse Joy. Mewtwo also tells them that the storm was actually a trap set by him. Those who were scared of the storm are not brave enough to be Pokemon trainers. Upon seeing him, the Pokemon trainers refuse to accept him as the greatest Pokemon trainer. They tell him that a Pokemon cannot train other Pokemon. A fight starts between them, and all of them launch their Pokemon at Mewtwo. Mewtwo fights back easily, and the Pokemon get destroyed and badly injured. Mewtwo tells them that they are no competition for him. He tells them that he is the most powerful of all Pokemon and that no one can defeat him. Ash feels enraged and challenges him. Mewtwo laughs it off as he was confident that his clones are really strong and better than the originals. Due to the fact that he has his telepathic skills, Mewtwo summons his clones, who are stronger than the actual Pokemon. As Team Rocket observes, three Pokemon clones get out of their glass containers and move to the battlefield to fight their actual Pokemon. Mew also comes out of the room to the battlefield with the clones. The original Pokemon are released by their trainers, and the fight starts. They begin to fight and the trainers give commands to their Pokemons. As much as the Pokemons try to put up a good fight, it turns out that the clones are much stronger than the originals and get injured. Mewtwo tells the originals that they lack both speed and power. He launches his Easter egg-like gadgets at all the Pokemons and captures them. The trainers yell at him for stealing their Pokemon, but Mewtwo says that he is only going to make clones of their weak and inferior Pokemon and make stronger ones. The eggs then fall into a huge container from where they are taken to a laboratory. Pikachu who is Ash's Pokemon tries to escape them. Ash also runs after him and helps him in getting outside the laboratory. Ash saves Pikachu from getting captured and ends up in the room with Team Rocket. He sees all the clones in the glass containers and takes them to the battlefield to fight Mewtwo. As he begins to fight, Mewtwo throws him away. Ash is about to hit the wall of the palace, but a pink bubble saves him. It turns out that it was Mew who saved Ash. Seeing this, Mewtwo gets angry and starts attacking Mew. Mewtwo says to Mew that it is not worth fighting for these inferior Pokémon. But Mew says it is all about the love one has in their heart, which makes them fight. Mew and Mewtwo fight while the clones fight their originals. Everyone gets really upset at the fight, and Pikachu gets injured. As Ash tries to save Pikachu, he falls between Mew and Mewtwo's attack and becomes stoned. Pikachu runs towards Ash and tries to wake him up by using his electric powers, but it doesn't work. Pikachu and all the Pokémon start crying. As they were crying, their tears started to float in the air and reach Ash's body. Ash's body starts to come back to its original form, and everyone starts cheering as he wakes up. Mewtwo realizes his mistake and ends his fight with Mew. He tells Mew that he has realized it doesn't matter if you are created by humans or nature. He takes his Pokemon clones away with him to learn what Ash's and others' hearts know. After that, all of them return to the training center with their Pokemon safe and secure and forget all about what happened on the new island. The storm also settles down, and the harbor manager declares that ships have become ready to sail again. Ash also sees Mew again in the sky the day he decides to be a Pokemon master. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified whenever we publish the next recap. Till then, take care. See you next time.